Здравствуйте, здраво, здравейте. Hi, hello, howdy, how you doing? I'm currently sitting on the ground at the moment because my desk is not here. Um, so that's fun. Um, I am going over today what I'm doing with my life at the moment <laughs> because there have been um, a lot of changes um, and woo, it's been crazy. So I'm kind of going over what has happened and what I hope to do in the future. So I guess let's get started. And if I was a good like YouTuber, I would have like some fancy channel intro and like good editing, but I'm not a YouTuber person, so I don't have any of that. I'm just gonna talk. <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna start with what has changed. Um, and yeah, so I haven't done a video for quite a while because in May, I think uh, May 1st, I believe, um, I got a puppy. Um, and so I love her so much. She is an Aussie doodle, um, a mini Aussie doodle, but I hope she grows to be gigantic because I love big dogs. Um, but I also love her. Um, <laughs> she's making a lot of noise right now, so I'll let her come in and say hi in just a second. Um, but her name is Kentucky, and I got her May 1st, kind of. Um, kind of depends. Um, but um, I have spent so much time, um, like, training her, um, just going places like, um, like vet appointments, um, and just, like, a lot of time with her so my main focus has been on my dog Kentucky um, so now I'm gonna be a good youtuber and do some fun editing and bring in Kentucky for you guys to see <laughs> so you can't really see her because of the dark background but this is my dog Kentucky um, <laughs> she is like I said earlier she's an Aussie doodle <laughs> And she is currently four months old. Um, she has a ton of energy and she <laughs> loves to bite on everything and chew everything and run in circles on in my backyard. Um, and so she is just super crazy doing her own thing. Um, yes, so this is Kentucky, my dog. I named her Kentucky because I love the state Kentucky, um, because they have horses there. I've never been to Kentucky, <laughs> um, but I would love to go to Kentucky, um, especially with her. Um, yeah, so this is Kentucky um, and I love her. So with that being said, um, most of my summer is going to be focused on her and just kind of getting better at training um, and stuff. Um, and just a lot of focus on her. Um, but something else that I've started doing during this summer was um, TEFL certification. Um, so teaching English as a foreign language, um, just because it's always been something that's interested or interesting to me. Um, and so I would love to um, teach English um, just kind of online and stuff. I mean, I already do like conversation lessons online for English. Um, so if you want to practice English with me, <laughs> English conversation, um, I am on italki, so we could definitely chat. Um, <laughs> but I've been doing some italki lessons, um, teaching some italki lessons um, for English. Um, but I'm also in the process of getting TEFL certified. Um, and so I'm spending a lot of time on that as well. Um, and it has been very fun. Hey, do you want to get your cow? Look, there's your cow. Um, and so that's been really fun. Um, so between having a puppy and doing TEFL certification, I've been super busy. Um, but I'm also teaching children how to not drown. Um, so I'm teaching swim. I'm teaching swim lessons um, during June, so um, 
two hours out of my day, I am teaching kids how to swim. Um, and then two hours out of my day, even more, two extra hours out of my day, I am doing TEFL certification. And then, um, what else was I doing? Oh, another two hours out of my day, I'm doing, um, I'm doing conversation lessons on italki, like teaching conversation lessons on italki. Um, and then I am dealing with this crazy living being. Um, so I'm very busy during the summer, but I still love languages and I'm still keeping up with my languages. Um, at the moment I am studying Russian and Bosnian and I've neglected my German, so I need to uh, get on that because I'm taking a conversation class in German. Um, so I just need to figure my life out in German, I guess. Um, but something that I have spent time doing this summer um, for Russian is I've been taking Russian lessons on italki, conversation lessons on italki. Um, and um, that's been really fun. I found a tutor that I really liked. Um, and so we have been um, doing lessons twice a week, um, but I did something really interesting and also very impulsive. Um, I booked, how many lessons did I book? 15, I booked 15 lessons uh, from, in June, um, I think from June 1st to like June 15th or something, um, just daily, like back to like every day um, for 45 minutes. So I will be speaking Russian um, every day um, for two weeks in July. Um, I don't know if I said June earlier, I meant July. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be doing Russian every single day for 45 minutes um, for two weeks, which does not seem like a lot. Uh, but considering the fact that uh, I never speak in Russian and I don't care to speak in Russian, um, or I guess I used to be like super nervous speaking in Russian, um, kind of a big step for me. So I am super excited to do that. Um, so I will be doing like a slight Russian immersion thing, uh, for July. Um, and that's exciting. And also depending on how those first two weeks go, I might just continue to book lessons every day for the entire month of July. I don't know. Um, but it was just kind of an impulsive decision, but I also really like the tutor that I'm working with and she's super nice. So, um... So it's well worth it. Um, and she also has very good prices. So if you're looking for a phenomenal Russian tutor that's really nice and um, good at what she does, uh, let me know and I will give you her italki profile. Actually, I think I'll just put it in the um, description, not the, yeah, the description of my video so that you can have it if you're learning Russian and want a good tutor. Hey, there you go. There you go. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I've been during these past couple of months. Um, hi, are you gonna go chew stuff up? Okay. Um, yeah, but um, I don't really have any goals for the summer except for um, improving my Russian speaking skills. Um, and then um, I would really like to um, get better at my German, so just improve my German vocabulary. Um, and Bosnian has been good. I've been doing some lessons with Bosnian. Um, I found a really nice teacher. She's a gem of a human being. Um, yeah, and then I'd also like to start um, doing some more with my created language because I haven't worked with it much just because I've so been so busy for the past like two months. Um, but yeah, so this summer won't be super, super language filled. I mean, it will, but like, not as I had originally hoped in the sense of me sitting down and studying languages for six hours a day. 
um, it's gonna look a little different, but that's okay because um, I'm excited for my language plans that I have put in place. So um, I will kind of document that progress um, and stuff like that, but I think I'm gonna hold off from making any like numbers goals of how many words I wanna learn um, or anything like that, um, especially for Russian, just because uh, for Russian, I really want to focus on my speaking skills. Um, but I think I've come a long way in the past two months because I used to be terrified to speak Russian. And now uh, I'm, I wouldn't say like I'm like totally carefree and phenomenal at speaking Russian because I'm not, um, but I'm at least willing to do it. Um, so that is fun um, and good. Um, but yeah, so I will kind of document my um, speaking progress so you will see more speaking videos here um and yeah and then i will also start doing some more like i'd like to feature more content of my created language <laughs> girlfriend stop chewing on me um so so um you'll see more content with my created language um maybe a couple speaking videos but mainly just me creating the language and my thought process behind it. Um, so that's pretty much it. And my dog just found the squeaker in her toy. So I think that's my cue to end the video, but thanks for watching this little life update. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video um, and hopefully it was a little different from what I normally do. Um, yeah, so um, stay tuned. I will have more content that's zesty for you all. Um, but yeah, uh, have a nice life. Um, don't die. There we go. Bye.